The Mayor Jorge Alorza says the funding will help people find permanent housing or shelters. Now, the city is launching a mobile diversion unit, and that's where people will go out to find people who are homeless, go to them directly, and offer help. Meanwhile, here at the State House, you can see activists are set up demanding safe housing for all by setting up tents. Providence's Homelessness Intervention Initiative is getting a half a million dollar boost. Ensuring the safety and stability of every resident in Providence is a top priority. The collaborative approach between the city, Crossroads, Rhode Island Foundation, and Providence Foundation aims to help Providence's most vulnerable. Money from the American Rescue Plan will fund a new outreach program. The mobile diversion unit will go directly to people who are homeless and help them find permanent housing, go to a shelter, or transitional housing program. Assistance will range from financial help to referrals to mental health support. Reuniting people with members of their family so they can go back and live with where they had been previously. And oftentimes it means a one time financial assistance for utility arrears, transportation, security deposits, and first and last month's rent. While this is a year round issue, leaders and activists say now is the time to take action and make a difference ahead of winter. To raise awareness and fix the crisis, Senator Cynthia Mendes and other activists have been sleeping in tents outside the State House for a week. Today, a dozen tents remain ahead of likely snow and overnight freezing temperatures. Councilwoman Mary Kay Harris says people experiencing homelessness need these critical services as soon as possible. As you were approaching this building today, the cold outside was unbearable because there is no heater. There is no opportunity for them to stay warm. But right now, we're operating in immediate need. We have to take action. And Crossroads tells me the mobile diversion unit should be staffed and ready to help people in the next couple weeks. They say they have enough funding to staff that program for about a year. Live in Providence, Sunbury Schaefer, 12 News.